Welcome back inside Yankee Stadium once more for BP All Access. It's time for another Mayor on the Move, and you might have guessed it, we're standing by home plate. It is time to learn a little catching. I am joined by the Major League Field Coordinator and Director of Catching, Tanner Swanson. Tanner, I know you are out here all the time working with the catchers, so Tell me a little bit about what you do on a daily basis. From a catching standpoint, um, constantly searching for the next edge, trying to help our guys uh, win on the margins. I think the awareness level of uh, just the value of a strike, um, how important that is in, in creating favorable counts for pitchers. Um, you know, so we're constantly trying to uh, find ways where we can better optimize the strike zone. What would you tell a young catcher coming up, some of the key principles to, to try to make him a good catcher? You know, it's not just the stance. I know the stance, you know, gets a lot of attention, but there's a lot of nuance in terms of the quality in which um, each pitch is received, like how the glove is loaded, and the timing of the load, the timing of the initial first move, how long can, can the glove stay down to be able to work fluidly up through the catch, keeping strikes within the strike zone, and then putting yourself in a really good position to be able to handle those kind of marginal pitches that um, are maybe just outside the zone that are susceptible to being called strikes if received well. By the way, you do all of that. Also know all the hitters in the league and know all your pitchers and everything they throw to. Easy job, right? Super easy. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> um, is there one guy that you would never want to catch? in the league just because their stuff is so filthy it's hard i mean clay holmes is, yeah. is is an obvious one i think any of the back end bullpen guys those guys would certainly make me nervous all right yes network is starting a baseball team obviously michael wouldn't get behind the plate paul wouldn't do it joe girardi said he's retired which come on he'd be great back here he was great back here so they want me to be the catcher so will you please help this person who's had five knee surgeries out to make it through a night inning game. Sure. Okay. Starts with putting the gear on. Let's strap <laughs> it up. This is a full-time job. It looks so easy when they do it, right? Am I the only person in the Yankees organization to ever try to catch with hoop earrings on? All right, now we still have to do stuff. That was exhausting. We have the video board, uh, which also has a representation of the strike zone uh, on the main scoreboard. That's on a video delay, so after each rep, uh, you're gonna have opportunities to review your performance. See, now here's the thing. I thought we were gonna do this very quietly, and he has me on the Jumbotron at Yankee Stadium. First things first, it's getting into a, a solid base, so if we're starting left knee down, trying to sit as deep, take your center mass as low as possible. Okay, but we're not Yogi Berra anymore, so we catch with one hand. A lot of people will, will choose to kind of let the, the hand hang um, and relax kind of outside their knees so it's protected from a foul tip. And then working from the ground, especially pitches that we're expecting or anticipating at the bottom of the strike zone, we want to get to the ground and stay on the ground as long as possible and then make a, a late, fast, and efficient move the to the catch. The way you say it makes it sound so easy. Hey, it's like riding a bike. Dude. Let's actually start with our bare hand. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Perfect. Down to up. Out to up. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, you're natural. Okay, but this time I'm gonna give it to you in the air. Target, out front, oh. down. Yes. There it is. There, perfect. Yes. Natural. How are we feeling? Awesome. Yes. Strike. Strike. Okay, now keep your head still. The reason we want to keep our body still, if, if I'm an umpire, a lot of umpires will actually make physical contact mm -hmm. and go ahead and sway to that outside pitch again. I feel, so I, gotcha. umpires are using more than just their vision. Right? They're using all their, whatever perceptual information they can, they can take in. So how the catch sounds, matters, what they feel, Okay, in terms of body movement from the catchers, all these things matter. So we want to try to be as still as possible and focus on pocketing the baseball first and foremost. Yes. Perfect. Pitchers would love you. I feel like we'd be doing everybody a disservice. We didn't get off the machine. Here goes nothing. Yes. Hey, you got this. Ha! Pro. Strike. Last one here. Yes! Thank you, my friends. Tanner, my first time catching, I know I'm certainly 
Not anywhere close to where I should be, but on a scale of 1 to 10, where do you think I rank? I, I mean, that was a 12. Oh, oh man, you absolutely <laughs> dominated it. I thought you crushed it. May or may not have paid him to do that. Also, I told him he better turn that machine down to like 20 miles an hour because I still have a pregame to do. We'll see you in the next segment.